guys how are you and welcome back to my channel now if you're new to my channel my name is Emma and welcome to my channel now you guys in today's video I just wanted to talk through my skincare routine um, I have been suffering from hormonal acne for the past five six years now yeah in 2021 it's gonna be six years so yeah it's been a struggle um, a journey that I totally haven't been enjoying but you know it is what it is um, I feel like 2020 with the whole lockdown it kind of gave me time to invest into my skincare I had a lot of time to do a lot of research compared to when I was working so while I was working I never really had time to sit and uh, invest in my skincare into um, doing a thorough research I was just like using whatever that I have and my skin was getting like really bad like when I was working my skin was terrible so 2020 really it gave me a lot of time to really do thorough proper research into my skincare which has turned out to be a good thing i've got all the products okay what is my phone doing here i've got all the current products that i'm using at the moment in here um i would like to think that they are not as much but somebody might be say might think oh that's a lot of products over there but the first product it has to be my face wash the current face wash that i'm really loving it is this cetaphil i use this almost every day uh the cetaphil acne prone skin uh, face wash it's a foam wash I uh, totally have been loving it it's really good especially if you've got oily skin so my skin is more like a combination but if you've got also oily skin a lot of people with oily skin love 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 this face wash uh, it's my go-to it's my everyday face wash for the moment and the next product it is um, so after washing my face what I usually is I tone so the toner that I've been using at the moment is this cutie cura toner it it's a great toner I mean for me I'm not really fussy about toners so yeah but I have bought this like three times so if it's not because it's very affordable it is because I'm loving it so yeah and the next product so after toning what do we do after toning you would go if it's during the day I always reach out for my um, tamanu oil this is from Korean skincare naturals totally love it it's almost finished I think I can go on for two more weeks with it it's almost finished but I totally have been loving it I feel like if it's finished not because I hate it but I just want to try something new when this is done but yeah I really love it I would recommend anybody to get it so when I am done with my oil I give it like two minutes to suck into my skin I reach out for my day creams so my day cream from Bionike, it is currently finished at the moment. So the day cream that I'm using, it is the Zimplex Moisturizer. This contains zinc, really good for if you've got um, acne skin. So all my products, they are for acne prone skin. If you've got a dry skin, I feel like all your products should be for dry skin. I don't know, maybe if it's, if it's a good or bad thing. Uh, but yeah, what I've been doing, um, since the whole of 2020 is i've only been buying using products that are for acne prone skin that goes with the skin type my skin type after i finish with my moisturizer again i give it two minutes to suck into my skin and then i will finish off with my spf i have been loving this bionite spf it's spf 50 um it gives you some kind of whitish overcast but that's just like for five minutes after just applying it and then after that it fades away so I'm not bothered about it um the next after that so that would be my day care okay so into the evening let's talk about the evening so at night after I wash my skin sometimes I would reach for a mask my Garnier mask it's in the bathroom I'm just lazy to get up and get it uh, I go for either my turmeric uh, from also Korean naturals 
Oh, this, I've been loving this. This is from Pick and Pay. I think it was about 30 rand. It's called Organic Apricot Mango Gentle Face Peeling. Yeah, it's an amazing face mask. It's not like those peels that are painful. It sucks into your skin, disappears into your skin, but you have to wash it off. Totally love it. So after the face mask, which is once a week, I don't mask every day, I would reach for my vitamin C. This is the lemon serum, again, from Nat Corium Naturals. I use this every day. Every day. Totally love it. Love how my ducks, like my... Acne scars have been fading ever since I've been using that. It's really amazing. And when I'm done with my vitamin C, I would top it off with my... Oh, wow. Tali. Oh. So when I'm done with my vitamin C, I go for... I reach for my night cream, which is the Bionike. It's from their acne range. It is called, what do they call it? Crema. It's called Crema. I totally love it. It's a really, really good night cream. It's got glycolic acid in it, which is a very good ingredient for acne prone skin. So between the vitamin C and the night cream, like it doesn't matter which one I go with first. Sometimes I finish off with the vitamin C uh, after starting off with the night cream, but I use both of them together every night with no fail um so i had to just quickly go and grab the ganyeth mask that i use it is this one i feel like everybody uses this mask it's a really really great uh face mask now once a week i would reach out for my chemical exfoliation the best thing that i've done for my skin um from 2020 i think i started using this around about august or september this is so much better than um physical exfoliation so physical exfoliation if you don't know it is using um granular exfoliators you know those scrubs especially if you've got acne prone skin please stay away from scrubs um they are really not good for you if you've got acne prone skin you just like making your like your breakouts really worse so try to move into um chemical exfoliation which is really has been great so what i've been using it is the lactic acid from uh skin functional it is totally amazing i love it i use it once um not once a week it's really 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 um is an amazing exfoliator um totally have been enjoying it i don't regret the day i started using chemical exfoliators into my skincare regime now last but not least my holy grail to my skincare regime it has to be my antibiotics so this is per bag, double dose uh, you get it from the doctor. So my doctor wrote me a pre uh, So my doctor put me on payback for six months and I think this is like my fourth one or third I'm not sure I'll check my script, but it's a double dose payback is um, an antibiotic that helps with acne um, It is really really good. It's not magic that your acne will disappear in overnight I don't believe there's anything that is that can get rid of your acne overnight. I've seen a lot of those, oh, get rid of your acne overnight. Mm, there's nothing like that. It's not magic. But it will clear your acne in like a month. Like the first dose, like the first month, and maybe on your second one, you will start seeing really major change into your skin, especially if you had huge breakouts. Uh, it is really amazing when it comes to clearing your acne um, and as I said you get a prescription from the doctor it's not something that you can get over the counter so another product that I left it is my rose hip oil it is one of the oils that I use like during the day so if I'm not using my tamanu oil I would use my rose hip oil it's one of those holy grail oils that everybody should have okay but you guys this is my skincare routine like explaining it i did not leave anything the only thing that i left would be my um these are like your acne like the spot treatments but because at the moment i don't have any breakouts so i haven't been 
reaching out for them but yeah this is the only thing i didn't speak about but when i do have breakouts which i haven't had any in like two months now i would reach for my quick pen just um after toning i'll reach for my quick pen or this spot treatments from oxy and then just apply where the breakouts only where the breakouts are let it dry before i can apply any other product but yeah you guys that was my skincare routine explained um i would love to hear from you especially if you've got acne prone skin you guys what's your routine um what has been your holy grail for me i would love to say everything that i have mentioned right now it's my holy grail at the moment i cannot like i'm really loving all these products there's nothing that i'm saying this is better than the other or i can go without it i cannot go without any of these products but comment down below in the comment section i would really love to hear from you especially if you've got acne prone skin what do you use what's your go-to um have you been also using uh chemical exfoliation what do you think about chemical exfoliation i feel like it's a life changer like it's a game changer i can't wait for the one that i have the lactic acid to finish i would love to include other acids amazing ones i've been doing thorough research and there are really amazing acids out there that you can incorporate into your skincare routine so yeah you guys i will see you in my next video bye